Hey guys, this is Badu and today I will show you how we can create a car rig easily in Blender using free add-on which is available. So here I'm using Blender 3.4. So first of all, I will show you how to download and install that plugin. So open your browser and simply search as rig a car add-on for Blender and enter. So select this GitHub and click on that and come to this code options, click on that code and download this zip file so we will get a zip file downloaded so now we can close this now come to this edit preferences so click on this install button and locate the file where you have downloaded so here I got that file so simply select that file and install add-on so you can see it is visible here enable it and save those preferences and close okay now let's import a car model orange here I'm using blender kit which is also free so I will go to this blender kits add-on and from here I will search or else you can search directly from here so I will search as let me search low poly car and enter so I think this will be good just simply click on that image it will be imported here so we can close this now so if I select this body in the FI mode so you can see the wheels are attached it's okay and let's check if any modifiers are available on this so if select the body come to this modifiers yeah, we got this mirror and bevel modifier so let's apply them so apply the modifiers here and let's select this wheel and for these wheels also let's apply the modifiers okay so now we can select this body fine so if i select these wheels these wheels are attached we want these wheels to be separated we want individual wheels here so select the wheels press tab on the keyboard for edit mode let's move to this wireframe and change this to face selection and let's select this first wheel here and once the wheel is selected press p on the keyboard and select this separate by selection option so if we press tab to exit this edit mode now we can see we got this wheel separated in the same way we need to separate the other wheels so select this wheel press tab and select this wheel here press p and separate by selection so now we got these four wheels separated but we need to set the pivot point at the center so for this wheel the pivot point is at the center now select this wheel now go to this object set origin origin to geometry so in the same way select this wheel set origin origin to geometry and again for this go to object set origin origin to geometry so we got the pivot points at the center of each wheel and now we need to create the axis for this body and this wheel and we need to parent them so first select the body come to this add option add empty plane axis so here i have created this plane axis right so being selected this plane axis press a on the keyboard to select rest of the things Control p and select this object keep transform okay so now if i select this plane axis and if i move we can see the entire vehicle will be moving in the same way now select this wheel so for this wheel we need to have this origin or 3d cursor at the center so first select this wheel shift s and cursor to select it so now the origin point is moved here go to this add empty plane axis now first select the wheel and later select the plane axis now Control plus p and select this object keep transform so now if i select this plane axis of the wheel and here we can move this in the same way let's add plane axis to rest of the wheels so select this wheel so first we need to have our 3d cursor here just to align this plane axis so shift s cursor to select it now go to this add empty plane axis now select the wheel hold shift key and select the plane axis and control p object keep transform now if i select this plane and if i move you can see the wheel is parented to that so in the same way select the wheel shift s cursor to select it go to this add empty plane axis now select the wheel hold shift key plane axis control p object keep transform so now we got axis parented to the wheels so here we got this right now we need to rename this plane axis correctly so if the naming is not proper this rig may not work properly so make sure to 
rename it correctly so first select this plane so this plane axis will be controlling this body right so select the plane axis right click and rename active object so rename as you can select the name whichever you like so i will rename this as van but this is important dot b caps o d y so the first should be the car name or the vehicle name followed by dot and then b o d y where b should be caps okay so now let's select this plane axis which is parented to this field so we should rename this one also so right click rename active objects so same name so here i am giving this van hyphen v where v should be caps w h e e l sorry v l dot f t dot l means front left v okay so let's copy this one so select this right side plane axis right click rename object paste it but here we need to change this to r means right so right front v so in the same way we need to rename this plane axis so select this plane axis of this back wheel right click rename active object so vehicle name so here i'm giving this van hyphen drain dot now b k which is back dot l so back wheel left side so copy this one so select this plane axis other one right click rename paste it just change this to r so this naming should be proper or else this rig will not work properly so here i will be leaving this renaming things in the description you can just copy and paste them so once this is done select this main axis which is controlling the body and make sure this 3d cursor is at the center so after selecting this plane axis shift s and cursor to selected okay now being selected this plane axis hold shift key and select rest of the four axis now go to this add armature and select this car deformation rig okay so press and on the keyboard here we will get this rig a car right now just click on this generate option so now we can see we got our rig ready if i select this one and if i move you can see we got this control and if i select this and if i move it sideways you can see the wheel is getting controlled if i select this one main thing and if i move forward you can see it is controlled but the wheels are not rotating so in order to fix that just change this zero value to one now if i select this and if i move this you can see the wheels are getting rotated so if i select this one and here we can use this for drifting purpose and this controllers we can use it for suspension wheel suspension okay so in this way we can create this car rig easily using this add-on so hope you guys have learned something new from this tutorial if you have learned anything new please like share and subscribe my channel to support me so we'll meet in the next video until then signing off take care bye